Good morning, I am Madhura, Assistant Professor, Department of Biochemistry, KS Rangasamy College of Arts and Science, Autonomous Tirchangur. Today we are going to discuss about anatomy of heart. The contents we are going to discuss today is about heart and the dimensions of heart, relations of heart and surfaces and borders in which are present in our heart and about the sites of heart and sulci of heart and about the layers of walls in present in heart and chambers of our heart and about valves of our heart and blood flow of our human heart. Heart. Human heart is a cone shaped hollow muscular organ which helps in pumping blood throughout the circulatory system in our body. Heart beats about 72 times per minute and uh, an average of 2.5 million times in an average lifetime of a human being. Uh, heart pumps blood throughout the circulatory system in our body through veins and arteries. Heart is situated in between the two lungs in the mediastinum. Uh, it is made up of four chambers, two atrium and two ventricles. Next. Next we are going to see about dimensions of heart. Our heart is about 12 cm long and 9 cm wide and 6 cm thick in size. Uh, and our heart, heart is about the weight of in female 250 gram and in male 300 gram. Uh, the heart rests on the diaphragm. Diaphragm is a muscular uh, layer which uh, uh, separates our uh, trachea and uh, stomach. Next we are going to see about relations of heart. Uh, heart are related with the various uh, arteries, veins and the organs in our uh, system. Uh, heart is superiorly related with iota, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava and pulmonary arteries and veins and inferiorly it is attached with diaphragm. Anteriorly the ribs and intercostal muscles are related with our heart. And in posterior position, the esophagus, trachea and left and right bronchioles and descending iota and inferior vena cava and thoracic vertebrae are attached with our hearts. And in lateral position, the lungs are is attached with our heart. Left side of the lungs, lungs are overlapped by our heart. Next, we are going to see about surfaces and borders. Surfaces, sternocostal surfaces or anterior surfaces is which in in which the heart is deeply uh, attached with the sternum or ribs of, of our lungs. And the, in diaphragmatic or inferior surface between the apex and right border of our heart it is present. And the pulmonary or left surface it is present on the cardiac notch of the border of our lung. And right border is formed by right atrium and inferior border is formed by the right ventricle and partly by the left ventricle. Pulmonary borders. Pulmonary borders are formed by the left ventricle and left auricle. Superior borders are formed by both the iota. Next, we are going to see about sulci of heart. Sulci are known as groove. Uh, groove means the uh, heart, uh, in heart outer layer, there are pres there present uh, arteries and veins which are known as grooves of the heart. Uh, this, this, this is divided into atrioventricular sulcus and anterior interventricular sulcus and posterior interventricular sulcus. The, uh, totally, there are three sulcus in our heart. Next, we are going to see, see about sides of heart. Uh, our heart is divided into two sides. Right side of our heart composed of uh, pulmonary valve, tricuspid valve, inferior vena cava and superior vena cava. Left side of our heart are composed of aortic valves, left, left ventricle and right ventricle, pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins and mitral valve and iota. Next, we are going to see about layers of walls of heart. Uh, layers, uh, our heart consists of three layers which means uh, outer pericardium, middle myocardium and inner endocardium. Outer pericardium. Pericardium is the outermost covering of our heart which is further divided into two types. Outer parenteal pericardium and inner visceral pericardium. The outer parenteal pericardium is further divided into two types which is a visceral layer and a serous layer. Visceral fibers layer are uh, which, products, uh, which protects our heart from external damage and it covers the uh, heart and it is attached as an anchor with the diaphragm. Um, Inner visceral layer uh, and outer parietal pericardium has uh, space called pericardial space in which pericardial fluid is present. Uh, in a human heart about 30, uh, 25 to 35 ml of pericardial fluid is present. Next we are going to see about myocardium. Myocardium is the middle layer of, of our heart's wall. Myocardium, uh, myocardium is responsible for the contraction and relaxation process of our heart. Uh, it is made up of specialized muscular tissues. Uh, and next we are going to see about endocardium. Endocardium is a glis Endocardium is a glistening layer which helps in supplying blood, blood flow in our heart and in our arteries.
Next, we are going to see about chambers of our heart. Heart has four chambers: uh, right atrium and left ventricle, right atrium, le right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle. Uh, these four chambers are uh, uh, chambers are the main uh, main parts of our heart, which uh, helps in pumping the blood from lungs and the body. Uh, in uh, in this uh, right atrium uh, uh, allows the blood flow through. tricuspid valve and the left atrium uh, uh, allows the blood flow to the ventricle through bicuspid valve or mitral valve next we are going to see about the comparison of right atrium and left atrium right atrium receives uh, venous blood and left atrium receives oxygenated blood from lungs and it pushes blood to the right ventricle uh, right ventricle through the tricuspid valve and uh, left atrium pushes the Uh, blood to the ventricle through the bicuspid valve and it forms the border of uh, right ventricle and parts of sternocleidal and this small part of the base of the heart which is attached to our diaphragm it forms the major part of our heart base and comparison of right and left ventricle uh, is uh, the right ventricle is thicker thinner than the left ventricle and the left ventricle is thicker than thicker than this and it pushes the blood only to the lungs it pushes the blood to the entire part of our body except the lungs Uh, and con it contains three papillary muscles and the left ventricle contains two papillary muscles the cavities present in our uh, right ventricle are crescentic in nature and the left ventricle has cavity in a circular nature and it contains deoxygenated blood and it contains oxygenated blood and it forms the sternocostal surface and it forms the diaphragmatic surface next we are going to see about valves of the heart our heart has four main valves which are pre which are present in between the atrium and ventricle which allows the heart flow through our uh, blood flow through our heart there are two types of atrioventricular valves and semilunar valves atrioventricular valves in includes bicuspid or mitral valves and tricuspid valve which allows deoxygenated and oxygenated blood to flow flow through the atrium and ventricle and this in semilunar valves aortic valve and pulmonary valves are present aortic valves carries oxygenated blood from the heart to body parts and pulmonary valves carry the deoxygenated blood to the lungs and the closing and opening of these valves these valve valves valves of the heart uh, gives the sound and lub and tub in our heartbeat next we are going to see about blood flow in our human heart uh, our human heart ca carry out uh, ox deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body through the superior vena cava and uh, uh, low from the lower part of the body it carries deoxygenated blood through the inferior vena cava to the right atrium and to the from the right atrium it uh, it uh, pushes the blood to the uh, right ventricle in which is allowed by the uh, tricuspid valve the tricuspid valve when opens the right atrium pushes the blood to the left ventricle uh, right ventricle and the uh, and the deoxygenated blood then uh, carried out by the pulmonary artery to the uh, pulmonary artery to the lungs and in the right side of the heart uh, pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood from the lungs through to the left atrium and the left atrium allows the blood to flow blood to flow through the ventricles through the Uh, bicuspid valve or mitral valve uh, from mit uh, from from ventricle the oxygenated blood or passed through the aorta through the whole part of the body uh, in this uh, uh, we are go uh, we are concluding that uh, uh, heart is a major organ which helps us to live uh, and it it pumps uh, 72 beats per minute and it is a muscular organ and the semilunar valves aortic valve and pulmonary valves are present aortic valves carries oxygenated blood from the heart to body parts and pulmonary valves carry the deoxygenated blood to the lungs and the closing and opening of these valves these valve valves valves of the heart uh, gives the sound and lub and tub in our heartbeat next we are going to see about blood flow in our human heart uh, our human heart ca carry out uh, ox deoxygenated blood from the upper part of the body through the superior vena cava and uh, low from the lower part of the body it carries deoxygenated blood through the inferior vena cava to the right atrium and to the from the right atrium it uh, it uh, pushes the blood to the uh, right ventricle in which is allowed by the uh, tricuspid valve the tricuspid valve when opens the right atrium pushes the blood to the left ventricle uh, right ventricle and the uh, and the deoxygenated blood then uh, carried out by the pulmonary artery to the uh, pulmonary artery to the lungs and in the right side of the heart uh, pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood from the lungs through to the left atrium and the left atrium allows the blood to flow blood to flow through the ventricles through the Uh, bicuspid valve or mitral valve uh, from mit uh, from from ventricle the oxygenated blood or passed through the aorta through the whole part of the body 
uh, in this uh, uh, we are go, uh, we are concluding that uh, uh, heart is a major organ which helps us to live uh, and it, it pumps uh, 72 beats per minute and it is a muscular organ Today we have seen about our human heart anatomy and about the uh, circulatory system of our heart which carries the blood from heart to the uh, parts of the body. Next class we can see about the cardiac conduction system and the cardiac cycle. Thank you.